Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel tutorial. We are discussing about some quick trees on array. Okay, suppose my situation is if I want to get a particular data from an array or from a multi-dimensional array. Suppose let's take an example. Suppose uh, this is the student data and if I want to print the john at that email dot com. So how can I do this? So let's print the array first. Print r and uh, simply write student okay so if you just uh, refresh this we are getting these things suppose i want to print these things so how can i do this so simply just uh, write echo dollar student then inside the student we have a email okay so let's refresh this we are getting the email suppose if i want to print the chemistry then how can i do this so just go to the subject after that inside the subject in the one index we have so simply write one okay so we are getting chemistry but we don't need these things right now so we have a array function so just use the element support array and we can access all kind of array functions so simply instead of that things if i just going to print the john or email actually john at that email dot com simply we can use array get okay so the get is a function and we need to pass the array name and we are going to print the email so simply just write here the email okay so i just directly echo that things we can directly echo so i just removing that things so we'll get the email sorry undefined variable array actually not array i just read wrongly so this is the student okay so you are getting the email now if i just going to print the chemistry then how can i do this so simply just go here subject and then chemistry so just write two okay so just print that you are getting the two sorry for chemistry it is one for math it is two so simply write one actually zero one two for chemistry we are just using okay so inside this suppose uh, inside this array we have uh, some nested array like so if i just uh, write in this way suppose we have a physics and uh, inside the physics we have in this type of kind we have some this kind of things suppose array and write here part one part two okay so we have this now just uh, going to print that things so how can I do this so let's use normal print okay so we have a, a main array inside the main array we have subject inside the physics we have that things so how we can do this okay so if i want to print the part two then just write the main array subject dot physics dot uh, one for part two okay so refresh this we are getting part two so whatever you have array you don't need to think about that things you just maintain the hierarchy whatever we have just use the dot and it will get the output this is the magic of get function okay so hope you can understand now suppose i just wrongly printed here uh, something else it means i just writing here five okay actually we don't have five so what so that time what will we get so that time we are not getting anything so inside the gate function we have another things we have another parameter we can pass so simply you can write no value actually this is the default whatever you write you will get okay so this is the no value if you write some integer type things you can write so one so simply write one okay so whatever just uh, print uh, no data means this is the default parameter so you can pass the default thing in the third parameter this is the optional parameter so this first two parameter is mandatory okay so you need to pass the uh, array and what you actually going to print what you're going to search this is the second parameter and this is the default parameter so hope you will like this video and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in the below comment section 
So if this video helps you, please like this and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Welcome with more video like this. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.